not knowing it, it is really the most painful thing. There still could be a chance that she's out there and can eventually, eventually find her. Rex and Lisa Bruggeman have been hoping and praying for a miracle for more than nine months now. Our life ground to a halt. They've not seen their daughter, Kirsten Bruggeman, since January 1st. She went out with friends that night and hasn't been seen since. You play all kinds of uh, scenarios in your mind of what actually may have happened to her, and, and some are too horrible to even verbalize. Rex and Lisa say that night she got into a fight with her friends. Her friends left the bar they were all at, the Irish Mutt on the corner of 10th and Shadeland, and Kirsten stayed behind. They definitely feel bad about it. They've communicated that to us. She was last seen here around 2 a.m. on January 2nd, just a little ways from the Irish Mutt, walking through the parking lot of this YMCA off North Short Ridge Road. I do believe that somebody knows something. In the time in between then and now, there have been searches, investigations, and a reward offered, but still no Kirsten. It never gets better. You just learn to kind of cope and, and deal with it. The Bruggemans have even hired a private investigator to look into their daughter's disappearance. It's the nature of the investigation, they, a private investigator has more time. On Saturday, they held a vigil. About 40 people showed up to support the family and pass out flyers with Kirsten's face and information. I'm hoping that, that because maybe some time has gone by, that someone out there is now maybe more willing to give up some information if they've got it. Now the family keeps the hope alive, praying to see their daughter come home. It's difficult, but miracles do happen. On the east side, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News.